Listen, I already know what some of y'all are saying. Yo, Kev, are you really talking about this show? Of course, but I'm only here for the fights. The plot is damn near non-existent, but it is animated by Mappa. I had to check it out. I'll only bring up the story if I need to give y'all context. Anyways, I'm pretty sure everyone knows the premise of the show. It's basically a big tournament where if you win, you'll get whatever you want. And this right here is the main character, Mori, as well as his two friends, Dewi and Mira. Alright, so with the intros out the way, everyone gets caught at the stage, right? So I'm thinking, oh yeah, they're just doing this to show us who's participating. I was sorely mistaken. So, begin. And everyone just start brawling. And look, we got two staff users. I know they not making it far. Then homie with the nunchucks came through and body like five people, including the one with the staff. But he instantly gets a boot to the face and I guess we can fly now. And that man just got hit with a hurricanrana. Trash his boy, matter of fact, give me the arm. And we got bro rocking the Chun-Li fit. Spider sense. Elbow. Grab the arm, kiss the foot, and one more for good measure. And this next one might be my favorite. Bitch, better put that guard up, boy. Austin, Stone Cold Stunner. And look at Cool Beans over here. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, And finally, we see these dudes trying to jump Mori, but obviously that ain't going to end well. Runs in, clocks the first dude, gets the second a whole new face creation, simply kicks the last one away, runs back, hitting these two with the Uchiha kick, and without landing yet, clocks the next. Turn around, weave, get your ass back, break the stick, uppercut, go and hit him in the gut and finish it with a special skill. But turns out, we have a late contender and he gonna be a problem, cause he's willingly nerfing himself. He got both his arms restricted. He runs in and bro got a bloodthirsty in like 3 seconds. He hits the last dude with a 2H, spins back and clocks him. I guess we flash stepping now. And this is beyond disrespectful. Not only is he stomping on dude, but he's doing it in Adidas slides. You get beat by a nigga wearing Adidas slides, you're never living that down. That's when Mir comes through, but bro is weaving all this with a smile on his face. Then he catches the sword in between his toes and then takes your shit. But Mira said, bitch, you think I don't got hands? Hit that boy with the fire force special. I really thought Mira was going to put the works on him, but he proceeds to feast on that last attack. Now, for whatever reason, Mori comes through hey, and yo. removes this man's pants. I truly don't know why he did that, but he ends up getting kicked away. But in that split second he got kicked, he elbowed his ankle. But the fight ends right here for now because Shorty broke dude's neck for having a sword. Anyways, we gonna fast forward to the first organized fight in this tournament. Chun-Li versus Dreads. They both dash in. Chun-Li gonna hit him with a quick gut check and look at the pose. I'm thinking he gonna continue with some crazy move. Bro really said divine dragon technique fight back bro i don't care what fancy words you put behind this this is not a technique then he ends the combo with a shoulder check out the ring he literally sat that man down but he said it's time to up the ante flash steps in the air comes back down and instantly gets fed a kick tries to continue the combo but dreads lands on his feet and the moment one of them restraints came off the whole vibe changed chun -Li runs in, sidestep the punch, block the follow-up, slip, block, sit your ass down. He gonna run in, jump up, and feed that man a crispy Adida. And now he's clocking him with a single arm. No way you just gonna sit there and take that. That stun lock can't be that bad. He's gonna drift around him, jump up, grip the hair, bring the Adida to the moon, and stomp him. That boy is face down on the mat, but he's not done. Picks this man up by his neck and continues to clobber him. And then they give us his inner moment with Chun-Li. So I'm thinking, okay, cool. He gonna get some type of power up. Peaceful weave, you're finished. Oh! Ain't no way. Bro still got bodied even after the anime flashback. That is a rare occurrence. The writers simply don't like you. Then he walks up on him talking about some, say it, say the words, forgive me. But obviously Chun-Li wasn't going for that.
See, now you just got to stand on that. No matter what happens, you cannot ask for forgiveness. Slapping got to be the most disrespectful thing someone can do to you. That's pretty much saying you're no longer worthy of a punch. But look though, it doesn't matter how much he slaps you as long as you stay 10 toes. Because if you fold, you'll then be considered his bitch in front of the millions of people watching. But then we find out the only reason why he acting like this is because someone else did this exact same thing to him so now he's trying to get his gangster back by bullying chun Li. you know this could all be over if you just apologize you got me fucked up but now <laughs> dread start to crash out he picks him up and starts breaking this man's limbs yo bro huh get up I didn't even hit that hard. So Dredd's dash in. I don't know what Mori doing with his body, but he popped him in the jaw, sent him right back into the sidelines. I know Mori was in a whoop-ass mood, but all of a sudden these four appear because it's against the rules to interfere with another match. But Dredd was tired of being made a fool. And turns out the pants he was wearing is just like Rock Lee's leg weights. Just a means of holding him back. He plants down the foot and kicks a wave of energy at him. Forehead gonna jump in and stop it though. So now he's in the air, but Mori gonna step all over this man fit. Bro, that was unnecessary. Anyways, they both clash. He moves a leg down and bro didn't even have to hit him. He said, here, enjoy the breeze. But that's when boss man comes through ruining the moment. But now for the next fight, we got Mira versus Mishon. She runs in, ducks the slash, Mira dodges the kick, ducks the slash again, and now she's just playing around. Getting leapfrogged is crazy. But she comes back around with a mean clothesline. Mira gonna dodge the follow-up, but she better off putting that sword down. She's 0% from the field. But then Misong gonna hit her ass with a rock bottom. Then she gonna jump off the turnbuckle and connect with a crazy frog splash. At this point, she gonna try every move on her. Launches off the ropes, Mira gonna try a counter. Oh. Yeah, it's time to give it up. The sword is not for you. She gonna push her back, dodge the sword again, and finish it off with a corkscrew suplex. Even the sword was tired of losing. It made sure to escape. And the craziest part of this whole fight is when Misan was like, are you sure you wanna keep fighting? You don't even got a weapon. Is that what you think? Huh? Even without my sword? I can still use a sword. What? And Misong hit her ass with a yeah, I right. connected with a me hurricanrana. She gonna run back in, slip, and not gonna lie, she dead ass just missed right here. Mira did not move. But look at the play. She got no clue what's coming. Wind breathing, fourth form, swordless slash. When she says she don't need a sword to use a sword, she was dead serious. And now for the third match, we have Dewi versus Metal Bat. And I'm pretty sure we can all tell, but Metal Bat is a smart guy. He claims to know every fighting style and knows exactly how to beat him. Yeah, all right, let's see how that goes. So Dewi just storms in, and it's crazy how Metal Bat can use sword techniques better than a girl who actually uses a sword. Anyways, he rocks the cranium, shoulder, and the back of the knee. He runs in, weave, 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 weave. That weave game too strong. Blocks the hit, Metal Bat sidesteps the punch. He jumps over the counter, but Metal Bat blocks the counter to the counter. So they both dash in again, but this dude somehow slips. Is this nigga serious? Now he is so lucky that Dewi is a kind person or you would have been long gone. So he gets back up and was like, let's see if you regret that decision. Speed Blitz popped him like 12 times in the body. Now on normal circumstances, whoever gets hit by that wouldn't be able to move. But unluckily for him, Dewey got a flashback. And unlike the first dude, Dewey is friends with the main character. He gon' get that power up. Metal Bass said, I bet, hold this. Dewey gon' use whatever this skill is and destroy his weapon. He closes the gap and I didn't think Metal Bat would have hands. Clash, weave, trying to hit him with the knee, but that's a block. He pops the forehead, strikes the gut. Metal Bat blocks the hit. Slip, uppercut. Oh no, my spectacles, stupid ass. Couple dodges right here, but now he putting pressure on that guard. Came through with that final hit, and that guard is broken. Strike the gut, hit the leg. That knuckle sandwich made him do a 360, then a damn heel kick to the back of the brain. He's trying to cause permanent memory loss, but now he's on that ass. Huss, 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 huss. Get your ass back in the frame and let him witness his ass beating. Bitch ass boy bet you won't block the knee this time right left right and he was trying to deliver that final blow but that boy was already done for
And now a little context for this next fight. So this next one is actually with both the homies, Mira versus Dewey. But the reason why Dewey joined the tournament is for money to help his friend who's in the hospital. But the night before the fight, his friend had an extremely close call. And with all that anger built up, he ended up beating the shit out of Mira. He fighting her like she the one who did it. Then Mori comes through and sees that the ref gotta hold his man back. This went from friendly fights to serious squabbles. So Dewey is headed to the finals, but Mori gotta fight one more person to meet him there. The match starts and he weaves the kick, blocks the second one. He starts flipping, cause why not? And he actually lands a hit on Mori. He goes for a kick, weave. But Mori said, what are you gonna do about the second one, Onoki? Wrapped the leg around the skull, did some tornado kick and tossed him into the ground. And he knew Davey was watching, had a meme mug him real quick. So now this brings us to the final round of the preliminaries. There were barely any intros, they both got into the ring and started boxing. He hits him with a double kick, knocking him into the turnbuckles. Davey weaves the kick and let's get personal. Rocks him in the back of the skull, he trying to cause permanent damage. Throws the right hook, Mori sidestep the kick, mink, flip kick. Bow. They gonna max out the FOV real quick. Couple of dodges right here, but they we gonna drop him and land some body shots. But Mori gonna flip out of there though. Now they both searching for that opening. Weave, block the jab. Daily blocks the kick and now we in first person. A little three piece kick and we switch to player one. I'm assuming he blocks these kicks. Counter, that boy leaking. They run in, double clash, dodges the straight, Mori blocks the heel. The hand grips the back of the head. A diabolical position to be in then squishes the head with the kneecap. If this was anyone else, that would have been a career ending move. And look, he tried to two piece the knee knock. Nah, he trying to take his life. Mori goes for the wrist, but they were going to take a step to the right and clock him. Oh. Bro said, oh damn, he ate that? Clocked him in the jaw, but he ain't done. The heel kick connects with the shoulder, but Dewey sweeps the leg. Connects with the left, misses the right. Mori said, get your ass off me. Ran back in with the classic anime clash. Mori blocks the kick, weave, airtime. Block, slip, miss the kick, but uses the same leg. Spin move. That right hook follow-up sent him across the map. Aight, Dewey won the first set, but let's see who gonna perform in the second. Mori gonna run straight in, and I think Dewey was trying to hit this man with a black flash. Jumps over that shit though, he gonna land, drift the boots, and break the guard. But the combo not finished. Hus, hus, hus. Enjoy the breeze. Spins back around, bitch. Send him right back into them turnbuckles. Mori gonna extend the hand, talking about some get up. Dewey took that shit personally and hit him with a 2H. Charges up the black flash and hits him straight in the gut. Runs back in and proceeds to pummel that man. Vicious left right. Then he goes into his final stance. And I thought this dude shot a Kamehameha, but I truly don't know what that was. But what I do know is that Mori got sliced up. But for whatever reason, the boss comes down and informs Dewey that his friend had just passed away. And hearing that news definitely nerfed him right here. He's just sitting there letting Mori bully his guard. He ends up going for that drift heel kick. Surprisingly, he dodged, but instantly got hit with the DBZ. He then goes for the roundhouse, but that's where Mira comes through. She pretty much told that boy to lock in. And she also gave him a note that his friend wrote before he passed away. It pretty much said, don't fight for him no more. Just fight for yourself. So that obviously gave him the motivation to continue fighting. And I guess they not beefing no more because they smiling again. But anyways, Mappa did this cool paint fighting animation thing. Yo, I wish they didn't stuff a whole bunch of chapters into 12 episodes. Because animation like this deserves a way better story. So then they we gonna catch the kick and then spare his life. He didn't want to end his animation too soon. He blocks the triple kick and then Mori gonna spare his life. They said, look, this episode gonna hit that 20 minute mark one way or another. They clash boots and he gonna smack the bottom of his shoe for reasons I don't know. Mori goes for that triple kick again, but Davy refuses to get caught lacking. He tried to sneak in that fourth kick, but Davy gonna grab the boot, swing him over, then hit him with an open palm. But the moment Mori smiled, I knew it was over. He knocks you out the domain and you laughing. Obviously, the power levels weren't scaled right. He jumps off the pole talking about some here goes the Mori original. Pretty much just hit that man with a dragon fist. Except it's his foot. I thought Daily ate that shit, but he falls right down after.
So day we lost the fight, the beef is squashed, everybody is friends again. But that was only the prelims. We off to the nationals. But the rules got changed last minute. Instead of the simple one-on-one -on -one fights, they now doing team battles. And since Mori and Davey was the final two, they automatically make the team. But the last person is decided by the loser's bracket. And to no one's surprise, Mira was going to win that. So the first fight is Mori and them versus Karen and them. Long story short, Mori lost his fight because he was trying to do a new move involving hitting his pressure points, but he ended up hitting the wrong ones and couldn't move. You know, main character shit. Daewi ends up winning his fight, and once again, Mira wins her fight by not using her sword. At this point, I'm confused on why you even carrying that shit around. So fast forward to the next fight, we got Mira up against this dude. The match begins and I'm not surprised that the sword is completely useless. So Mira slaps him again, kicked the kneecap, flips over, putting him in a headlock, throws him down and stomps on the gut. She was trying to hit him with the wind breathing, but he smacks the arm and tries to hit her with a suplex, but Mira says she's not getting suplexed twice in one vid. She gains some distance, runs back in, and you telling me that's not a violation? Bro got a care package mid-box. Anyways, now that he got a sword, we found out that this sword actually belongs to Mira's family. Obviously, she was like, oh hell nah, I'ma need that back. Immediately shatters her sword. Are we even surprised? She calls herself a swordsman, but is yet to win a single fight using an actual sword. It's about time to drop the sword and pick up the gloves. We all know she a boxer at heart. And turns out he somehow knows how to activate the sword's true power. Speed blitz. And Mira going to show off her weave skills for a little before pulling out the wind breathing. He moves out the way, but she comes from the top ropes with a flying kick and follows up with a sweet chin music. Now, wind breathing, seventh form. So she gets her sword back, but they hit her with the sword doesn't deem you worthy bullshit, but it's cool though, cause she a boxer anyway. So she gonna show off her weave game again, but bro is not playing around, stabbed her ass real quick, then leaves her in the air to hit a mean two piece, but he's not done. Picks her up by the hair, slaps her two times and rocked her. See, she gonna get back up though, but this is why she's not an actual swordsman for real. Speed blitz, fake ass Ronnie Coleman. She not even using the sword technique no more, she just boxing. But dude gonna pull up the sword and stab her shoulder, then hit her with the uppercut sidekick combo. But unluckily for Ronnie, this is the same situation as earlier. One of the main character's friends is getting a flashback. You officially lost, buddy. Now look, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, right? This is where the show kind of dives more into the superpower aspect. All I know is that certain people can borrow powers from different gods. I'm just letting y'all know now, because when they start pulling out complete bullshit, y'all know why. So Mira somehow gets power from this swordsman god, even though she put in no work with that sword. But she gonna take her actual sword back. Ronnie summons his god power, but Mira makes light work of that shit. She gets in the air, comes back down, and yeah, she won. So now we're in the final rounds of the tournament. And first up, we have Dewi versus Ryu. They both run in. Clash leg, she ducks the punch, Dewey blocks, weaves the axe kick, then she ends up hitting his ear which will play his role in a sec. Whoa! You are centimeters away from a violation, ma'am. You better watch that foot. He blocks a two-piece, blocks the right. Hey, look over there. Stupid ass. What even happened, bro? You didn't get hit. Why are you looking over there for? Well, she hits him with a side kick and then jumps over with the elbow straight to the noggin. And he bounced off the mat. But he gonna grab the neck with the legs. And I just realized this man is fighting in a regular fit. He's doing all this in jeans. Anyways, he gonna throw her ass across the ring. She gets back up, but Dewey is on that but he completely misses and that's because that ear attack from earlier wasn't for damage it was to mess up his balance she brings that leg to the moon even puts an extendo on that shit but i'm sorry to say that you're simply not like that bro instantly recovered and this is where some of that random stuff comes into play i don't know where he got that from but it did something punches the gut and he gonna spin around to finish her off and her teammate was like look you gave it a good try but you not winning this fight he just whoops your ass in Levi's, you're done. But you know a fighter's pride is not gonna let him quit. She runs back in, goes for a spin kick, but Dewi just hits her with whatever that was and knocks her down. So now we're finally at the final fight of the tournament. And we got Yada over here 
going up against Mori. They run in, dodges the double kick, blocks the third, ducks the heel, slip, weave, dang it. Block the roundhouse, but eats the gut shot. Weave, block, block, watch your toes. He comes back around with a bro kick to the chest. He gonna block the two piece, clash with the third. Mori thought he dodged the kick, but he gonna grip the skull with the leg. Pops him two times with the knee, get your ass up. He gonna jump over the back and kick the spine. See, Mori knows he cannot let that go unchecked. They gonna clash with the feet, and I don't know why he dodged. That shit wasn't gonna reach anyway. He gonna step back the kick, blocks the three-piece, takes his turn back, airballs the kick. Mori goes for the whiff punish, but didn't know Yada was still plus. He gonna shorter check dude to hit him with a mean kick to the jaw. Put that man on all fours talking about some. So that's your first weakness. You're bad at close combat what see now i wouldn't know what to do you telling me i'm bad at the only thing i'm good at so mori's answer to that was rushing him down trying to hit him with a special skill this is a crazy shot barefoot to the face is sinister and i know for a fact this dude does not wear socks his nostrils are getting bullied right now and mid nostril bullying this man gonna say and your second weakness you telegraph all your attacks proceeds to slam him into the mat and Mori's answer to that is to use his original attack but he gonna use the friction off his toes to light a fire and completely cancel it out and there he goes again your third weakness your technique places too much strain on your body so no matter how hard you try you will never beat me and then he starts saucing on him bad come on bro what happened I thought she was the main character sorry ass two-piece bitch mori gonna hold out for a little blocking the kicks but he gonna grab the arm flip his ass over keep in mind he's doing all this while talking shit weak ass man give me that arm go ahead tell me what does getting your ass beat smell like these little boy ass kicks heads up stupid ass mori can't handle it the block strings are too much and not gonna lie this is when Mori starts cheating, cause he gon' run back in, eat the kick, and just stole Mira's whole breathing technique. Bro really pulled a Tanjiro. Now he gon' jump in, eat the kick again, but now he's stealing Dewey's whole flow. Not gon' lie, Mori, this shit kinda weak. And then he gon' come up with a new original move on the spot. They both shoot it at each other and, you know, the animation's nice. But Yato is the one who ends up losing that clash. And this is when the writer said, you know what? Fuck it. Just give him everything. And then this dude comes back with Baryon mode. Bro, what is going on? So Mori gonna take it slow because, you know, he boxing Naruto now. He gonna dash in and oh wow. Bro got Infinity too. So he lands the two weights and starts hitting him with the airstrikes. Mori gonna try his new original move again, but Yato simply says no. But I'm not gonna lie. The fact that Mori can even still hang with dude is stoning me. Y'all gave him a whole transformation for no reason. So Yada was sending some foxes at him, but Mori decides to go even deeper into the main character bag. I don't know what he does exactly. I just know he tapped into some sort of god power. Pretty much he one taps Yada, so yeah. Technically, that's the semifinals because they were supposed to go up against his other team. But some other stuff happens. Mori ends up powering up fully and fights this guy, which is actually a pretty cool fight. But that's more of them showing off animation. But yeah, bro, I'm pretty sure this is another long video, so I'm out.